What's up everybody? It's your boy Tress Trucker. Y'all want to be an owner operator? Let me give y'all some advice. Here's one thing that will save your butt. My cutoff time on my load was 12 noon. It is now, let's see. 12.40 local time. Missed my delivery time. And why did I miss my delivery time? Because I'm waiting on Freightliner to bring me a part. Had a crank sensor go bad. Called Freightliner. Freaking 6.30. They were going to bring the part out because I'm at a, t at a Petro a truck stop only 29 miles away. Well, they said, yes, we can deliver the part. But the part left two, over two hours ago. Still hasn't got here yet. So... I missed my window and everything, so. Y'all people who think owner operators make plenty of money, yes we do, but there are downsides and there are headaches that you have to contend with. So, it's Friday, y'all. It's Friday, what am I gonna do about a load now? So, y'all think about that. There is a lot, of, a lot of things that you have to do as an owner operator. You can make money, yes, but you have to do things smarter. And my advice to you, if you have a breakdown and you are in a truck stop where they deliver free find a courier service find a courier service and have your parts delivered by a courier service you will get them faster because like I say they said the part left over two hours ago and it's still not here so it's what it is y'all be sure to check out my YouTube channel y'all YouTube the Tourette's trucker look up the Tourette's trucker on YouTube and we will holler at y'all later peace out What's up, y'all? Tretch Trucker. We got Brian here, YouTube subscriber. Say hey, Brian. Hey, how's everybody <laughs> doing today? He actually came to check and try to see if he can pick the sensor up for me. He's here from Kansas City. But we finally have our sensor. Yeah. Shh. Dang, what time is it here? It's late. Yeah. 4.30. We have our sensor. The guy drove an hour and a half past here to Columbia, freaking Missouri, and then had to come an hour and a half back to bring our freaking sensor. Makes no sense. But we finally have it now. Lost my load. Got to reschedule for Monday. But hey, you know, you got nice subscribers like this. Brian here actually shows us, hey man, uh, can I go get it for you? But it was already on the truck since 10.30 this morning. The truck left at 10.30 this morning with my sensor so that kind of sucks and then they didn't bring both sensors I asked for both sensors to replace the top and the bottom sensor and they only gave me the bottom sensor so it is what it is y'all we're gonna get this changed out hopefully we'll get the same crank but we'll find out a little bit y'all we'll be back so what's up everybody guess what I'm finally here it is finally Time for a shower. Time to get clean. The problem with the truck hopefully will be solved. Freightliner did not bring the right sensor. They brought only one of the two sensors I asked them to bring. And guess what? It's the one they didn't bring that I need. So I talked to the mechanic. He says, yes, drop that trailer, you'll be fine. Go get the freaking sensor. Truck will start with starter fluid. But if you cut it off, you gotta turn and hit starter fluid to get it back going again. So I did, I dropped the trailer, ran the freight liner, because they closed at midnight. I got my sensor, came back here. The shop's gonna put the sensor on, probably after midnight, but they will get me in and they'll put the sensor on. So right now I've got the engine cooling down, but I will have to freaking or start a fluid to get it started again. But at least it has time to cool down now some. And then I'll get the sensor to him. It's after 10 o'clock. It's 10 20. I'm tired. I put these clothes back on last night for this morning because I took a quick sponge bath and went to bed at 1 o'clock last night. So I just threw these on because I was walking straight in here to take a shower. But that didn't happen because of the truck not starting. But yes. Hopefully we will have this fixed tonight. Hopefully. Prayfully we will get this fixed tonight. So then I can jet tomorrow. 
I got somewhere I want to be tomorrow. I want to hang out with somebody, you know, over the weekend here. Um, hopefully it all works out. If so, y'all will probably find out Monday who I'm hanging with. If it works out, hopefully it does, y'all. And we hope everybody is having a good, safe, blessed day. I appreciate it. Brian, I do appreciate you coming up here. What's up, everybody? It is 1.03 a.m. Update. She is in the parking spot, and she is fixed. It was the one sensor the Freightliner did not bring. Uh-oh. We got Kitty. We got a bad boy. Y'all want to see him run? Get back in there. You know you're not supposed to come out. I wasn't going anywhere. I wasn't going to leave you, son. I'm not going to leave you. You can hang right there. I'm not going anywhere. But yeah, it ended up being the one center... Well, they told me last night there was a freaking sensor. Got a hold of one of our um, one of the mechanics at Big or er, Dubs Big Rib Dubs Big Rig Rehab in Macon, Georgia. Excellent shop, y'all. Y'all might want to if y'all are in the Macon area, good place to get your truck worked on. They're a Landstar Authorized Repair Shop. But talked to Roy. He said. You know, replace both sensors. The guy's saying it's the sensor. Change both of them out, the upper and the lower sensor on the front cover. Change the pigtails too. So I told Freightliner, I need both of them. At 6.30 in the morning, at 5 p.m., they showed up with one. So that was BS. So I changed the one out myself, trying to save money. I did it myself. Still not it. Still had problems. Now I tried and used starter fluid. Truck crank, cranked up with starter fluid. Well, I let Roy know that I called him back again, you know, like earlier tonight. Told him that, hey, it runs with starter fluid. Um, once I spray the ether in there, it, it kicks in and it runs. It doesn't shut off. He said, okay, if it's the lower sensor, it won't start at all no matter what you do. If it'll start with starting a fluid, it's your upper sensor that's bad. But still a good idea to go ahead and change both of them out in the pigtails, wiring harnesses, you know. So, he asked what time freight on a close. I told him they closed at midnight. This is like 8, 9 o'clock. He's like, drop the trailer, go get that sensor. Because I told him they weren't going to be pulling me into the shop until about 12. Um, the service call for the TA to go get it is 60 bucks. Well, if they weren't going to pull me into the shop until like freaking 12, well, they actually did get me about 11.30. Well, by the time they got the other one out and looked at it and did what they needed to do, it's a 30-minute drive to where the Freightliner dealer was. They wouldn't have had time to go get it. It would have been closed. So he's like, he's like, I'm telling you, if it'll, if it'll start and run once you spray ether in there, it's your top sensor. Drop that trailer and go to Freightliner and get it. And it's a good thing I did. I'm so tired and exhausted. I paid them 150 bucks to put the sensor in. Yes, it cost me 151 dollars to have them put a sensor in. But it was behind the air compressor in the front cover. I got a two-stage air compressor hot as can be from from driving I didn't have all the extensions that you would need to get past the two stage air compressor to get it and even then it took them having long needle nose pliers that were literally about a foot long to hold it in plus two extensions on a freaking ratchet to get past there to get the bolt and all in so it took them some doing well I didn't have that kind of tool so it's a good thing I did have them do it if I tried to do it myself there would be no way I could have done it so that's a good thing I did have them do it. it. Cost me 150 bucks. But as soon as they got it all snapped back together, 
I'm like, well, let's see. Here's the test. I ain't gonna lie. I like, Lord Jesus, please let it work. Hit the key. Boom, fire right up. Just like that, fire right up. So she's fixed. She's working, y'all. So now I've got the weekend free. So hopefully tomorrow I can I can go meet up with, you know, who I want to go meet up with. But you know, if it happens, I'm still waiting on on a return return from. It. So if it all if all goes through and it's all well, it'll be cool. I'll have me a good weekend. So it was a go as of earlier, but you know we had. I was supposed to go there and meet him today, but you know, we had freaking truck issues. It was, it was screwed. My day got shot. So, we'll find out, y'all. But at least we finally got the truck running. That's an update for everybody. Um, Brian, I really do appreciate you actually coming up here to the TA or Petro, you know, offering to go get the sensor. I, I do appreciate that. Um, he helped me, you know, get the truck started. It's, he helped me with the ether and crank it up while I sprayed the ether in there how we figured that that it does work with that so i appreciate you staying until the storm hit he had to hurry up and jet he had a woman at home waiting on him and plus the storm coming so brian i appreciate you subscribing to me hey i appreciate you taking the time to come up here that was really thoughtful of you so i appreciate you buddy and y'all i hope everybody has a good safe blessed weekend and we will holler at y'all later peace out